What's happening, everybody? Brian Edwards, MajorWager.com. Let's talk. Um, I, I want to stop short of calling it my favorite pick of the week. But it's certainly one of my favorites. And I'm talking about Boston College. Plus 32. Now, quite a few books have moved to 31 and a half or 31. As long as, well, really, as long as they're catching 28, but I would hope you can get it plus 31. At Clemson, now, <clears throat> is Clemson a team we're looking to fade? Not necessarily, but, you know, they, uh, they're they laying too many points this week and several other instances uh, so far this year. In fact, they're only 1-3 against the spread at home, and they're only 2-4 and four against the spread overall. But look, this play is more playing on Boston College. Uh, who I, uh, I I made the number 25, and that was before I was aware of some Clemson defensive injuries, which uh, were really only officially known, or at least in the case of James Skowski, their star linebacker, who's not only out this week, but going to miss several games, uh, including uh, Notre Dame next week. So it's a big loss. Uh, from Clemson, and I'll get to more on Skowski and their injuries in a minute, but let's go to Boston College. Okay, 4-2, and two, but straight up and against the spread. I called them and Alabama in the first half my favorite plays last week. I had made BC minus 10 at home against Georgia Tech. They were coming off a misleading final score and a 40-14 to 14 loss at Virginia Tech. Uh, that game was 17-14. to 14. With four minutes left in the third quarter, BC was minus five in turnover margin. Uh, were threatening the back door, had a red zone trip end on downs. Um, two of their fumbles, one was in the red zone. Uh, one, they were on their first two drives, had 11 plays from 98 yards, but fumbled uh, at Vatex 40 and uh, around the 15. Okay. BC has really changed their style uh, this year. You know, no more A.J. Dillon. I mean, they they were not afraid to pound the rock with him 40. They, they weren't afraid to give that guy the ball 35, 40 times a game. But now they, with the Notre Dame transfer, uh, Phil Jer Jerkovic, Jerkovic, Jer Jerkovic, sorry, Jerkovic, um, they've changed their style, man. They're passing the ball a lot and doing so effectively. So, um, like I said, I made the line 10. It was three at home to Georgia Tech. It was coming off that 73 to seven pimp slap L. And uh, I just loved BC last week. It went up to three and a half, maybe even four at some spots. Raced out to a 31 seven lead. I mean, it was your kind of winner. A uh, no doubt from the start. Led 34 to 14 at half, 48 to 21 late in the third. Uh, Dracovic, um, because they had the big lead, he didn't throw it as much. Uh, he threw for 345 at Vatek. Only threw it for 145 last week, but very efficient. Two touchdowns, no interceptions, and he can move, too. He had seven carries uh, for 94 yards last year. On the season, Dracovic is 62.5 completion percentage, 1,671 passing yards, 12-4 to 4, uh, TDI and T ratio. Uh, BC is 3-1 and one against the spread with two outright wins in four underdog spots this year. And going back their past 26 as underdogs, the Eagles are a stellar 19-6-1 against the spread with 12 outright victories. Although we're not implying an outright victory here. I mean, we are catching 30 and change. Okay, so... <clears throat> A little bit about Clemson here. Like I mentioned, James Skowski uh, is going to miss several weeks. Okay, in 2019, started all 15 games, 105 tackles, 10 QB hurries, four and a half sacks, four passes broken up, three tackles for loss. Um, so far this year, uh, in five games, he's got one scoop and score touchdown. He's got 20 tackles, uh, one tackle for loss, uh, 
0.5 sacks, two passes broken up, and one QB hurry. And look, I'm not, you know, feeling sorry for Clemson. We know Dabo and Venables and the Tigers, uh, their backups are like all four stars, maybe even a, a five star freshman or two as reserves. But <clears throat> Going back to the beginning of the year, remember Xavier Thomas, the former uh, five-star uh, recruit, uh, third-team All-ACC last year. Uh, he he was ruled out for the season uh, about a month ago, late September. Justin Foster starting defensive end. He was also third-team All-ACC last year. He, he was ruled out indefinitely. He had 12 QB hurries, uh, four and a half sacks, six tackles for loss last year. Okay, so your deal. So there was Xavier Thomas. Now he's been out all year, but Justin Foster uh, been out a month, um, and now James Skowski. You know those are three of your better players on defense. They're all out. Okay, now we also have. Um, now I, I reached out. I'm on the Quok and Kelly Out of Bounds show in Clemson on 105.5 The Roar every Thursday at 1:25 p.m. Eastern. Um, so they had a bunch of guys questionable. So I, I, I DM'd uh, both of those, like a group DM. They tell me cornerback Darion Kendrick, who was second team all ACC last year, they tell me he's probable. But the other two, he said, are very questionable. And that is starting linebacker uh, Mike Jones and uh, starting defensive tackle Tyler Davis who was first team all ACC last year. So those are two more potential starters that might be out. They're questionable this week. So if they end up being out, that's five Clemson defensive starters that are out. Now, again, I'm not implying they don't have tons of depth and quality depth. But um, like I like this play anyway, and I didn't, I mean, I knew about Foster and Thomas. Um and I knew Skowski uh, didn't play last week, but uh, he wasn't, like, listed doubtful or out until either late yesterday or early this morning. So um, that's just gravy. That's just gravy. I like BC anyway. This is too many points. And um, I am recommending Boston College plus the 31. Maybe you can get 31 and a half or 32 here early Wednesday. B, C, I think we'll cash. Brian Edwards, MajorWager.com. Good luck with all your bets. Make sure the Eagles are one of them. Over now.